With almost 500 sessions at Next 2018, it's understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see Google's vision for a safer web, then stay tuned, because here's the rewind. Over the past year, we've seen amazing growth from large and small companies who are embracing the web for productivity. This means coworkers are relying on the web more and more for things like collaboration, remote working, and the cloud-based services that help them accomplish their goals each day. Sadly, attackers are following this trend as well and getting more creative. We've seen more attacks each year and more variety in the kinds of attacks. Completely new attacks are appearing as well. Most of these attempt to gain control of high-value accounts so the attacker can use the credentials for their own purposes. Which means that the defense, that's probably you, needs new strategies too. And Google is here to help. We've been rolling out more tools and features to Chrome to help secure your company's resources and keep your employees safe. At Google, we're very familiar with these kinds of attacks. We see over 6,000 instances of unwanted software attacks each minute, targeting over 3 billion devices around the world. And thanks to our safe browsing tools, we can learn from these attacks and recognize new vulnerabilities automatically. And here's the best part. Your IT administrator can get access to the same tools and capabilities through Chrome policies, letting them see what warnings were circumvented and what common sites are attack vectors on your domain. To keep your password safe, you can use Password Alert, which can notify admins when an internal password has accidentally been used for an external site. This helps fight phishing and password sharing vulnerabilities. But security isn't just a one-way street. Starting with Chrome 68, non-HTTPS websites will be identified as not secure, helping us create a web that's safer from eavesdropping. Even with strong web encryption, new vectors keep emerging. With Spectre and Meltdown, we saw machines around the world suddenly at risk. We reduced the ability for malicious code to spread with sandboxing. Originally, we built Chrome with tab sandboxing, which prevents tabs from interfering with each other. Now, with site isolation, different sites in one tab cannot affect each other or leak data. Thanks for watching. You can see a link to the full talk in the description below. Subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more Next Rewind videos.